Girl Scouts! Miss Katie here with the Girl Scouts of Virginia Skyline Council. I'm so happy to be back. I've been on vacation. Today we're doing Junior Camper Step 2, which is gain a new camping skill. And I fell deep into the world of duct tape, duct tape hacks on the internet. And I want to share some fun stuff that I found uh, for you guys. So I'll go over all the steps for the badge. I'm a little rusty. It's been a while. Um, but I hope you guys had a great 4th of July and vacation. And like I said, I'm happy to be back with you. So step one of Junior Camper is plan, um, start planning your adventure. Step two, which is what we're doing, like I said, is gain a new camping skill. Step three is find your inner camp chef. Step four is try a new activity. And step five is head out on your trip and have some nighttime fun. So like I said, I was researching online and I found um, a bunch of cool stuff that you can do with duct tape. And I know my Girl Scouts know all about duct tape, but I wanted to show you guys um, some fun things and some useful things that you can do for um, when you're camping and some kind of um, last minute saviors that duct tape will help you with. So let me pull up my notes. Okay, so obviously duct tape is a great resource to have. You can use it to um, fix cuts in your tent, um, to cover blisters on the back of your foot. Um, you can use it, I was, okay, this was one of my favorites. Um, so in addition to covering up holes like in your tent or in your shoe or in your shirt or your pants, anything really, um, you can use it to wrap around a tree um, and make sure the sticky side is out and you can put a little bit of honey on it and it will capture little annoying bugs at your campsite, which I thought was so way cool. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how to do a couple of things and then I'll just kind of describe how to do some others um, because I want to be resourceful and not use all my duct tape up. But one of my favorites was you can take your water bottle and just so you have duct tape on you. This is really um, useful for when you're backpacking because obviously duct tape is heavy. Rather than taking the whole roll of duct tape with you, you can just take off what you need. Let me make sure it all comes off in one piece. I do like to use the name brand duct tape. I have found that it's stickier than the off-brand stuff, but that's just my, my perspective. Okay, so like I said, rather than taking the whole roll, you're gonna take whatever water bottle you're gonna take on your camping or backpacking trip, and you're going to get it on there nice and smooth. And you're just gonna wrap it around your bottle. And you can do this over and over and over again until you have however many layers, mix that out, however many layers of duct tape that you need. And the idea here is that when you do need it, you can just take it right off your bottle. I've also seen this done if you take, um, to start fires when you're camping, if you take a lighter with you, you can wrap little pieces of duct tape all around your, your lighter. So just a really cool and easy way to have duct tape and the chance that you need it. And it takes up virtually no space. So I'm going to stop there because like I said, I want to use my resources wisely and not waste all my duct tape. But you can wrap it around over and over and over until you have however many layers that you think is um, useful. So that's hack number one. Super way cool. Um, hack number two I found was you take a little square of duct tape and same idea here, just so you're not carrying around a bunch of weight, especially when you're backpacking, um, you take off a little piece like so and you take a sticky pad or a gauze out of your um, first aid kit and you can cut it or you can... I've already cut my tape, but you can make your gauze fit the size of your duct tape. Put you guys down. So it just sits on your duct tape like so, and then you take antibiotic ointment, and you just squirt a little bit of that on there. And then rather than carrying around a huge first aid kit, you have a ready to go little, um, piece of gauze and antibiotic ointment and you can just put it again right there on your bottle and it's safe and sound and it sticks right on there in the case in the case that you need it you can just pull it right off 
and have that readily available. Um, so yeah, so lots of fun stuff. So I saw another cool thing that you can use for shoes and I'm gonna tell you guys how to do this versus actually doing it. Um, Cause again, use your resources wisely. Um, but in case your shoes get um, holes in them or if you want to waterproof your shoes, you can take duct tape and um, cut it however big you need, however big your shoe is and put it around the front layer of your shoe. I would wrap it all the way around and that will prevent water from coming in, which is awesome. Very, very useful when you're, when you're taking long treks. Um, if you have a little blister spot rubbing, you can put um, duct tape on the end of your shoes here. And I also saw a thing, I encourage you guys to watch the video on this. If you need shoelaces, so for instance, say I didn't have a shoelace handy or it ripped or something happened where I needed a shoelace in a pinch, you can take duct tape and twist it around and make a shoelace out of duct tape. Um, so it said online that you need about four feet to make two inch shoelaces and there's a special way to do it. So just type in Google how to make shoelaces out of duct tape and it pops right up, but it's a lot easier to watch versus me explaining it. And I don't wanna use up all my duct tape just for the sake of a video, but that resource is available on the internet. I told you guys about the super cool tree thing. So your campsite is nice and comfortable and the bugs aren't bugging you. Let's see. You can use it if you have a hole in your water bag. I think I mentioned that. Make sure I covered all my bases. Oh, if you're carrying um, sharp, sharp items in your backpack and you wanna make sure that um, they don't hurt you or anybody else, you can use duct tape to cover a sharp edge. Um, so that's a really great idea. You can reseal packages, obviously. Let's see. Oh, you can use it as um, a protection against wounds. So if you hurt yourself on the trail and you don't have a Band-Aid available, you can just take duct tape and wrap it around your finger or whatever injury you have. Not ideal, but it's helpful in the moment if you don't have anything else there. Um, you can use glow-in-the-dark duct, duct tape to put on your dog's leash so you can find your dog at night. Love that one. And I think that's it. Um, but I just thought it was so cool. Some of you guys might already know about these hacks because I know you guys are super hardcore uh, Girl Scouts and know all these tricks already, but I was super amazed when I found all these things on the internet. Um, so those are the things that I have to share with you guys today. Let me know if there's something crucial that I'm missing um, that I need to know as far as duct tape and the things you can do with it when you're camping. But I hope you guys um, enjoyed this and have a great day today. Bye.